Today, I'm on site at a dental office and we'll see if the Unified Power Amp can replace the legacy existing speaker amplifier to power these in-ceiling speakers. It's a bit tricky since we have six zones with two channels each right now, and we're only going to use these two Unified Power Amps to replace that system. So let's see if this works. Welcome to the channel. My name is Bogdan Shpurny, founder of Apex One IT, and we do small business IT. Like I said, this office is a state-of-the-art dental facility. You know, they have all the best tech to get your teeth done, like print things out here. It's really cool. But they were lacking in their network department. So we just did a Unify upgrade, and now we're going to upgrade the speaker system with the Unify power amps, just for easier and better control of the speaker system. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire project. So we'll look at the current setup, then I'll show you how to configure the Unify power amps so that they work with these zones and the speaker setup. And then hopefully by the end of this video, we'll know if these amps in general are just good for a small business deployment. All right, and here's the kind of IT cabinet we have here. So this is the existing speaker amplifier, right? It has six zones, it's all on. So what they have going on right now well, you can do a couple more inputs, but they have uh, kind of this old Chromecast audio streaming device just plugged in in the back, and I'll show you the back here in a second. And so they have these six zones, right? You can see them labeled. There's a break room. There's five operating rooms. Um, and the speakers are actually just outside the operating rooms, which is why there's three and four. And then they have the waiting area, which is, you know, kind of up front there at the front desk. So all these cables are coming off the back of this speaker amplifier, and each speaker like up in the ceiling, I'll show you what it looks like. It actually has two channels. So in one speaker, it has both left and right. So that's what you're looking at here. So these are all labeled kind of per zone. And it's really a two channel speaker, okay, at each location. So there's a positive and negative for each, of course. And, and then I'll show you a diagram of how we're going to configure that. Now, this is the back of the amplifier. And you'll see, right, these are the two line in inputs from the Chromecast. Then they have each of these are kind of one speaker, but two channels. So there's six of them, and that's how they made these zones. And you'll see there's a positive and negative coming off for left and right channels. But we only have two power amps. So each power amp, the outputs on that are essentially a left and a right. So in this case, it's kind of like using the bottom right here, this black and red, and this green and white. That's, kind of, that's your left and right channel outputs. So what we'll have to do is actually combine six of these down into the two power amps. And it's actually not a problem at all because you can see the way you set the volume for these speakers are these tiny little knobs. And these three right here are set at one volume level. And then the waiting and op and break room have another volume setting. So that means we can combine them both because each power amp has a volume dial on it. One thing I want to do before I replace the legacy amp with these amps is just make note of their current kind of setup. What's the volume level? You know, how does it actually sound? So they use these iPads right now. And you want to find some kind of song that's sort of stable in volume that you can reference. Okay, so I, I took a mental note and I could even on my Apple Watch. Okay, so we're roughly at 50 decibels. Okay, I'm gonna set this up here first and with the Wi-Fi. Eventually we're gonna put this up in the rack side by side. While that's booting up, you want to go ahead and grab the Unified Play app, and it'll prompt you on the screen here as well. But let's go ahead and go there. Once it boots up here in a minute. So this now tells us it's ready for setup, and we can see the QR code to get the app. So here it is. We want to, first of all, on your phone, you want to be on the Wi-Fi that you're actually going to be setting up for the power amp. So make sure you're already connected to the right Wi-Fi. Just tap Setup. I'm going to go ahead and edit the device name. And this is going to be for the lobby and break room, so I'll just do that. Now it's asking for that Wi-Fi password. Okay, so it's connecting to the device via Bluetooth. And that's essentially it to so kind of get up and running. So the Wi-Fi is set up. Here's our amp. Some things we're, we're going to do, we're gonna put this in the rack and actually connect the ethernet, and I'll show you that in a minute. First, let's jump in here. Let's make sure the volume is all the way down as it is. Now, in a, this kind of scenario, we usually, you know, you'll want to set up in mono. So let's go down. So we don't want stereo, we want mono. And we'll do Dolby Atmos for the music EQ right there. 
since that's what we're playing. Okay, for now, that's it. Later, we're going to go ahead and create a zone as well once we set up the second one. For the speaker setup, or the routing, so let's grab our wire. And you'll see this corresponds to the way we have it in the diagram. So we have our two sets is, we have red positive, black negative, white positive, green negative. So our two channels. Take your banana plug adapters and just follow along just like this one. It has red dots and a black dot, so positive, negative. Just unscrew these till you see that hole. Make sure the wire, like the conductor, is actually exposed all the way through. Tying that down. Then this is our other channel, same thing. This is our, sorry, the Y actually is our positive in this case. And swing this around. And if you are actually doing stereo, then it matters if you're going right or left. Um, I'm still gonna plug it in correctly. So this is our left channel. And the right channel. All right, then I'm going to place this in a rack and we're going to route the three sets of speakers on the other end of this wire. Now in this network cabinet and where the speaker wall plate is here, I've already, and I'll show you this diagram right now, but these, remember these four blocks are going to be one zone or one power amp, and then two, four, and three will be another one. So those are still connected to the old amplifier, and I've already adjusted these for the new one. Okay, so we have, remember this is our white, is our left channel. Uh, I think in a diagram I put it as yellow, just because of white is hard to see. So that's our positive, and then coming back on the green to our negative. So now we're going to daisy chain it, uh, and I just got the same gauge wire, so in this case, uh, this is 18 gauge stranded. So we're going to go from the negative of this first speaker, left channel, to the positive left channel of the next speaker. So one, two, five. Okay, and then left channel, negative to positive five and six. And now the same thing for the, the right side. Exactly the same. So negative to this negative to positive, and then this negative to that positive, right? So this is our red and our black wires. All right, so now that is wired. Perfect. So the speaker wiring is now done, and as you can see, I just set up the second power amp exactly the same way, ran the speaker wire exactly the same way. So now they're both set up, we have lobby plus the break room and the hallway here. So what I already did, like I said, is you want to open up that reference song and just play again and adjust the volume. So I'm playing just airplay off of my phone here, right? I can select where it's going and I've already dialed it in. So I can adjust it here. So at 30 is roughly where it was at before, about 50 decibels. And that's, yeah, that's basically 30% right now without any adjustments yet to the power amp. And as you walk around, you know, I can, I can use the phone volume here as well and also adjust that. So once you figure it out for each, and this one was about 37, it was set up. So as you can tell, this one's just a tiny bit quieter and this one's louder. So what we want to do next is first like this video and subscribe for more videos like this if this is helpful to you so far. And now we want to set up the zone. I have these two power amps set up, right? But we only care about one source, actually. They're never going to send two different types of music to the different locations. They actually want the same music at both locations, okay? So that way, what you want to do is actually just set up one zone. So if we go here in the unified play up to zone, let's create a zone. Um, let's just call this ceiling speakers, okay? Now stream broadcasting, these are the different options we have for AirPlay or for Spotify. Like, is it can, can the users have a selection to go to either power amp, or are they only going to go to this zone, which is both of these? So by default, I would just say the zone only. Then we want to select which devices go in there, and then click Create. And now we have, there it is, it shows two devices are ceiling speakers. 
So this volume here that it shows in zones is the overall volume for the song. But if you go back into devices, you see that the individual power amps, are, they still have their unique adjustments, right? So if I, you can see on here, if I tweak it, see that one's at 30, that one's at 37. So it's, it's adjusted still properly. Now the next thing that you actually probably want to do, for example, I would, I would go in and I would adjust the overall level let me explain this. So you can set a maximum. Let's go into the hallway speaker, for example. Click on this, this setup right here by the volume. So the device volume, and we're looking at hallway here, right? It's uh, 30 right now. Now, in order to have more control of this, it's, it's better to set a volume limit, which basically means it'll adjust. You know, right now we're at 30% device volume, but if we adjust this down by half, let's say 50% for that power amp, now that cuts the device volume in half because we just cut the total volume in half. So if I want it back at 30, I'll actually put this around at 60 to get the same output out of these speakers for the hallway one. All right, so I'm actually going to adjust this so that the device volume here is at 50. So I want the device volume at 50, but I'll adjust the volume limit so that at 50, it's exactly where it should be for the kind of default position. So that way, anybody who's here, they kind of know if someone messes with something, if they just go to 50%, then it's going to be, the sound's going to be kind of back at default. All right. So I set this one up and I'll test it. I don't know the volume limit here without actually listening to it. Right. But I would do something similar to the lobby and break room power amp. So this one's at 38. And if I wanted to 50, I'm kind of just guessing you could do some math, um, but I'm going to do trial and error here. And now I'll figure it out. Okay. But well, if we go back now to zones, we see our zone and we see the individual volume. They're both at 50, but the, because they have volume limits, uh, they're actually outputting a little bit differently based on, you know, which location they're playing, which speakers. So with the zone set up, if I go to the app now, so I'm, I'm just in the music app, but it could be Spotify. So if I go to airplay, you'll see, I have just one kind of speaker selection, which is the ceiling speakers that I named, right? And if I click play, there it is. And you see the volume here is at 50%. If I adjust it on my phone, it's adjusting it on the power amp. So obviously I see what's playing here, but if I lock my screen, I can see here I can pause it. So it pauses, if I tap it on one, it pauses on the entire zone. Now I can go next song, whatever. One thing is here, when you have it set up as zones and you want to adjust the volume, it's actually not going to, like if you're physically trying to adjust the volume, it's only going to adjust that power amp. So you should hear this louder right here. I'm right by the hallway. This is why you kind of want to know and set it up at 50%. So if, if I ever want to go back, I know if they're both at 50, they're both at the right level. But you can still adjust individual amps like this as well. But if you want to control the overall volume, you know, whatever device is playing, see if I adjust the volume on here, it adjusts the volume for the entire zone show you here in the unify play app it gives you more control here you can pause from the app as well you can see this is each individual power amp playing here if you go to zones you'll see it here as well okay so i'm going to stop streaming from airplay and let me show you the chromecast now that chromecast that was plugged into the old amplifier i went ahead and plugged it into the back of one of these so it's it's a line in source so what i'll do is i'll I'll go ahead and send it that was called music cast from the Spotify app. So it's going there, but I need to change the inputs. See right there to line in. Okay. Let's click play. So this volume needs to be 50 and there it is. The one thing you should know is when you're going for, you know, I have it plugged in here, the actual line in, it doesn't transfer between the two. It doesn't go to the zone. So the line in is just going to this power amp only. If you did want to share the line in source, like you had something like that and you actually want to share it between the two power amps, then you would just have to essentially have a splitter. Okay. So from your Chromecast device or whatever else, just split it off into both inputs here. And then your zone can be set to have that line in as the source. It's just the point of this is that they actually no longer need the Chromecast because now they can use AirPlay off the iPads or they can just use a Spotify app on an iPad or Android device or a PC, no problem. So they don't even need that line in, but just showing you how that works.
Now the power amp itself has a couple settings, which the app has all the settings as well. So first, you can of course see the name of this power amp hallway, and underneath it's telling you that it is uh, ceiling speakers. Also that is connected with the ethernet port, and I'll show you that in the back. And it is a touch screen, so if we hit the bottom, that's your you know, playing controls. And I showed you how you can switch to line in, there's also HDMI. And then at the top, uh, there's just like network settings, so the, so the screen brightness as well. If you swipe over, that's the LED ring brightness in the back here. And here you can customize the actual ring color. Okay, so both the display and the ring in the back here change color. And then finally you can restart as well. Now if we look at the back, this right here is that ethernet port that we plugged in and the two line in left and right for the Chromecast. And if you want more details on how this entire rack was set up, actually slides out, it's pretty cool. It makes access super easy. But just click on the first video that you see on the screen if you want to see that more in detail. Or if you want to see even more, everything else, how to use the power amp and specifically in a home setting, then click on the second video and that'll take you there. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.